Alright you guys, I'm finally back here on Galactic Craft after a long time of me building the rooms and putting all 300 people's names on the wall. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk across the wall so you guys can see that your names are all on it and then I'll show you all the new rooms I added. Did I sh yeah, I showed you all these rooms I believe over here. Yeah, alright. We already know he was on the wall. I'm not going to read them all because I would just add an extra... 30 minutes on to the video here because I have a lot of rooms that I added to um, the space station this time. A lot of you people uh, told me to add like certain rooms that I didn't add just because of the fact that it would either make it like lag really bad. <laughs> Or it just would never work. But that was only for like a couple of the things. I added most of the rooms that people wanted me to add. For the most part. Uh, the hallway coming up here once I... Here we go. I had, There's a kitchen over here. And in this kitchen. It is a basic kitchen. And underneath the kitchen someone added me, told me to add a like a farm so I just added a very tiny farm underneath the kitchen just to get some stuff I don't know why I grew pumpkins exactly but I just felt like growing them <laughs> so I grew some there's not that mu I didn't really make the garden too big as you can see just because of the fact that it would look really awkward if it was like ginormous compared to the actual kitchen up here because it's fairly small so that's the kitchen, and here's the bedroom, and where uh, all the people will take nice naps when they want to. And I blew up a good portion of this room, like nine times, because I actually clicked on the beds, just because of the fact that you can't sleep in the beds when you're not in, like, Earth or whatever. It just blows up. So I blew this room up, like, nine times, that room alone, just how... Basic it is. It took me like 45 minutes because I blew up the room so many times on accident. And some of the rooms I added that I know for a fact are coming up here. Where's this? Oh yeah, this is the diving room. And then the f door that comes up next, I believe. Is it the... Someone told me to add a disco room. So I added a disco room. But that is... Yeah, that's not this way. That's will be coming up soon. Um, what's this? Oh, this is the, uh, the science experiment room. Where we have captured nice aliens. And, as you can see, you're getting, like, DNA samples from this alien. And we are getting samples from this nice ender dragon egg here. And then they both come over here into these nice machines. And the machines work their magic. And, bam! We get... A nice classified potion because you guys don't need to know what it really is. And here's a nice little... You can do some experiments over here. And we've got some aliens trapped in a thing. To see if they're immune to certain stuff or if they die when they touch certain things. Like water and lava. The lava takes 45 minutes to fall so I might just walk out. Because I already know he's going to die from lava because I tried it before. And the water doesn't do anything to him. It just pushes him in the air. Yeah, you can see he's roasted toast toasting in there. Actually, I should probably close the lava because it takes a while to go away. And... Everybody's name I added to the wall, ex I think. It took me seven and a half hours to add everyone's name. And so if I missed, like, one person's name... My bad. And, oh, there's someone's name that got deleted because I broke a sign on accident. Like, the day after I just added everybody. So, someone's name is going to be missing. It was someone towards the top of the... I'm all turned around now. Oh, yeah, this... I didn't, I didn't show you this room, did I? No, okay, this is the... The, um... The disco room. It's more like just the nice standard 
concert rave type of thing. You got your nice little bar over here that you can get, believe, you can get brew in that one. Milk in here, if you, uh, for some reason you want milk, or you can just get some nice standard water. And for those people that cannot stand and dance for long periods of time, there are nice tables over here and chairs. And then in here, this is where your DJ will be. I didn't really make a legit entrance yet. I just made it so you can fly over, just so you can see that it's all here. And then... Oh yeah, this is what's going to be a panic room. That's probably the coolest thing I did in this whole space station so far. Was like the panic room th type of dealio that I did. Did I show you this wall yet? Mm. Yeah, I don't know even what's up with that. That was just like random words, but I was like, you know what? I'm going with it just because of the fact that I was going... I was just doing it, like, trying to do it as fast as I possibly could. And I was like, you know what? If I don't put it on there and it's actually his thing, <laughs> then I'll be pissed. So I just decided to put it on anyways. But it seems like just a bunch of random, uh, words. Or not even words, look more like letters. Just jumbled together. And this is where the hallways, this, this is the longest hallway, so... It'll be easier for me to transfer between rooms here. Alright, here's the bathroom. And I was originally going to have, like, this big-ass jacuzzi, <laughs> just for no reason, and then a shower. But then, that really didn't work out too well. So I just made a standard shower where you just walk in, you close it, and then you go, bam! And there's your golden shower. You can take a nice shower, and once you're done taking a shower, you can just walk back out. And I'll have a nice window here in case you feel like watching somebody. Just in case. And then this is just in case you are, don't feel like standing and you want to take a nice bath. Now. Uh-oh, I didn't close the door. It's leaking. And then here are the bathrooms. All here, you just walk in over here and you go, bam. And you're done. And it floats away into the sewer system. And then you can wash your hands here. And then we'll, I don't think I have any because of the fact. Yeah, I don't have any paper on me. What tab is paper on? Here you go. Give me some paper. You wash your hands, grab some paper, then you go, Kobe! And you Kobe into the garbage can over there. That's the bathroom. What's this one? Bathroom. I don't even remember. Uh, this might be the escape. Yeah, I think this is the escape room. This room, if this is the escape room, this is legit. All right. So as you can see, there's this is just a demonstration of escape pods here. That's why there's there's doors and those, but this is just to demonstrate the escape pod. You just open the thing and boom, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Look at oh oh, there goes another one. With that, see, escape pods are for the people that, let's just go and say, they are pussies. No one just wants to drop out of a pod, because you really can't have the whole pod fall, they have to fall by themselves. So, how the cool people go about doing this, is you grab your nice buggy, you put the buggy down, like so, you hit the lever, open up the door down there, and you have to go in reverse for some reason, I don't really know why. But you have to hit it in reverse. Now, when I did this last time, my game glitched. And I plummeted to earth, but I got sent into bedrock and I couldn't move. So hopefully, I can bail before I get back to earth. Because you drop fast as a bitch in this thing. As you can see, yeah, see, it like, just freezes. It's weird. But, like, if I wanted to jump out there, I would have plummeted to earth. So you can do it that way. The cool... What the hell? The cool person way. Get the buggy, or you can just do it like real champs and just run and jump out of the escape door. Either way works fine, and as you can see, I'll show you the outside. It's the mess of the outside that I'm gonna have to cover up because I didn't cover any of the outside up yet, so it's kind of just clustered. And there's just redstone everywhere because I'm really bad with redstone, so I could have probably made the redstone lines shorter. But, yeah. 
Wait, did I show you this? I think I showed you all these names. Pretty sure, yeah, I showed you these names. And then, we have this way. I didn't put a door on yet because I didn't think I was going to be done with this room. But I guess I'll show you it anyways. Um, I could probably just throw a door in here real quick. It's pretty much done. And bam. Door. Alright. This is the surgery room. Or the hospital, as you might say. Someone told me to add a hospital. So, this is the closest thing <laughs> to a hospital that I could think of. I was thinking of a surgeon simulator and just dividing it. And then you have your patients in the table. Now, I know this looks really weird. That he's orange. But, that's the only way that you could really have it look somewhat like a dude. So, to perform surgery. You simply open the chest. God, do I have so much garbage in my inventory. Um, you grab a lever. You simply place the lever onto his stomach. And you turn it. And boom. Where'd it go? Organs will start flying out. So much stuff in my inventory. I can't even tell where it went. What? What even flew out? Something flew out. Did I not pick it up? Yeah. Give me the garbage. Delete mode time. We have too much stuff. Too much stuff. We don't need you. Definitely don't need all this stuff up here. Alright, so let's try it again. Turn the lever. There you go. I see we're getting bones. We got a heart. We got two lungs. We got a kidney. And some more bones. This performance surge is like a champ out here. So that's this is the surgery room. We only have one patient as of right now. But we'll have more in the future. And this is where you can nice wash your hands and then. Oh, do I have no paper left? Oh, I got some paper. I didn't put any uh paper towel yet, but then you go, Kobe! And you just Kobe into the garbage can. Oh, I missed terribly. That went through the wall. Oh well. Um And then I believe yeah, that door way down there will connect to uh the escape pod room. I'm pretty sure. I have it attached to the escape pod room. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's attached to the escape room. And then, yeah, you got these people. <laughs> they wanted, like, paragraphs of how they died. <laughs> so they needed two signs. Because some people had, like, an elaborate story of how they wanted to die. What the hell? I thought this was... Oh! I was supposed to turn. Oh well. So, this is the movie theater room. And, so what we got going on in the movie theater is you just walk on over here. And you come up, did I block this off properly? No. I didn't. I was slacking. And then, right here is you got the little thing. Here's your nice, you take nice seats. It's pretty dark, but it's cause it needs to be dark in the movie theater. And you can get in that room that you really can't see because I have a thing blocking it, but... There's a room back there. There really is nothing in it yet. And then you come here and you can watch a movie. And to get into the room here. I tried to do some other crazy thing that you couldn't really tell as a room, but after about 45 minutes of trying to figure it out and I couldn't figure it out, I gave up. <laughs> and then just moved along. And here's this back room really has nothing. And uh, that's the... Oh god, not this again. That's the movie... A little movie theater we got going on here. I'll just leave that open for now. And then attached, it's not really attached, but right next to the movie theater, we have the concessions area. But I'll go into that area next because I want to make sure I remember to go into these rooms here. Alright. And I'm going to show you the, uh, Panic room last, which is that's the panic room right there. I'll show you that one last, because that's what I think is probably one of the cooler things that I add to the space station. There it is. And that's the hell they want to die. They told me to make it up, and then I was uh, doing the escape pods and I actually punched through the wall. And the sign so happened to be there with someone's name on it. So, who's our name that was? My bad. I didn't mean to break it. 
So, if that was you, I'm very sorry. But the, yeah, this is the escape pod room again. What is this? Oh, nothing. Alright, and the panic room's down there, as I said before. And then down here, we have the game room. Uh, it's the game room, the concessions, and the nature room, I believe. So, over here, we have the the concessions. It's a, just pretty basic as of right now. It's nothing too fancy. It just has our nice the cookies. You can get some bread. I don't know who gets bread at the concession stand, but you never know. Some apple. No, I don't know who gets that either. Some fish. You couldn't possibly get some fish at the concession stand depending on where we are. Some pork chops. Some chicken. Some steak. And some melon. And then here you can get some soda, milk, or water. And then bam. And then you gotta catch it. Did I catch it? Nope. I dropped it. Oh well. And it's there. You got some soda here. And then... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you get speed when you drink soda because you get super cray cray. And then... Where's the brew? Oh, I didn't take a brew out. Well, when you drink a brew, you get slowness. For like a... Me a minute, I want to say. And then over here, we have the game room. Oh yeah, and this is where I ran out of people. I still have room for people. I haven't checked lately. So there might be people I can put on those walls, but as right now, there's not. So we have my ultra beasty ass computer with some massive cooling fans here. Got some beastie processors going on here. Look at those video cards. And we got this. That's where you, uh... Insert discs if you want to do so. If you still buy disc versions of games. And right here, this computer needs so much power, you have to have this big ass generator just to get it to work. And then you come over here, and then you can play some Minecraft. Right here. Just be chilling along here playing some Minecraft. And then over here, we have a nice little. Xbox looking thing that doesn't look like an Xbox whatsoever, but go with it, and then you can play Xbox here and it'll project up onto the glass, and then here, I was gonna make Deadly Twister, and I, oh, I deleted the things. Well, just decide what color, because you can't spin when you're playing Twister, you're in the thing, it's hard for you to spin. So how this works here, is you hold your, draw the bow back. Yeah, and you look around, and boof. So it hit blue, I can, so hit blue. So you just start on blue, and then you go counterclockwise on the color thing over there to use your thing. Now I was gonna have it being deadly, um, twister, but then again, I probably would've blew up my whole space station if I would've actually went through what I was planning on doing. So, and it actually, I actually like it better this way. So you can tell what color you stand on. Simply, well, you can tell when you're on a thing. Because it collapses. So now, you're on the green one. And then you can be on the yellow one. But then it's going to be, when you have to stretch all the way to blue, it's just looking real sad. So you better just shoot an arrow. And then, <laughs> so then you have to stand here. While your arrow had that pushed down. And now it's somehow stuck in my head here. I don't know really. What the hell? Not really sure what's going on. But that is... That is Twister. And then... Over here... Is the Nature Room. And I don't know if anything stayed spawned in here because... Yep, yeah, it disappeared again. I was having problems keeping... Pigs, cows, and sheeps... In here. Like, they won't... What? I hear them, though. The hell? Is he still trapped down here? You dumbass pig. You're just gonna die down there. That is... He's still trapped underground, I see. Cover that up. But they do survive because I have the oxygen set up here, as you can see. And then... So let's just spawn some in here. Let's just throw all that up there that we really don't need right now. And then we need... A pig, some sheep, and a cow. So throw some of you in here. Big head ass sheep. Throw you in here. And we'll throw you in here. Now. 
Someone wanted me to add a sun that you can like walk into. Well, I put that dirt in the wrong spot that makes this look really weird. So bear with the terrible looking sun over here. It's supposed to be higher, but I was like, you know what? The sun's gonna crash into the thing because he wanted me to be like able to walk in the sun. So I decided that that's not, I was gonna try to do it, but I said, screw it. And now when I click wherever the hell it is, when the sun hits, it just pours lava everywhere and burns everything and I mean everything so once the lava gets through most of this room here we will move on let's see if these ah screw it I don't feel like waiting anymore well, let's cover that up just so the lava somewhat stops here from pouring out can't really tell where it's pouring out from anymore but I'll be back in this room to see later if they all died because of the panic room and then I believe that was all the rooms that I added I think yeah I think that was all the rooms I added and now for the panic room and I was just gonna do a basic panic room but then I'm like what's the point of just having a panic room when you can just sit in there so you run in and it is oh this isn't the panic room is it oh shit it is oh there it is I broke it again. I broke this room multiple times too. So then, so let's just say a whole shitload of aliens or something come and break on a thing and you run into the panic room and then you just see yourself in here. But then they're like, oh, there's a camp outside waiting for you. But that's not going to accomplish anything because I added a whole ventilation shaft that can get you to every single room in this space station. So as you can see here, we can get to the Surgery and like as you can you can just jump up here, but let's we'll pretend that you can't so you, Some of you guys in the beginning are probably noticing other seem like there's a block missing from the ceiling But that's because of the ventilation system. I have going on here so If there wasn't the gravity thing you wouldn't be able to jump up obviously But we'll just pretend that they can't jump up that high to get into the ventilation system and find me so in this did I make a ventilation system into the movie theater? I did, eh? Where does it drop you? Oh, it drops you into the um the room where you can decide what movie's gonna be playing. And then over here takes you obviously to we have uh the food area over here. We have the nature area over here. Where is the nature one drop? Right there. And then we have the game one over here. There's the game. Drop in one. And then this is like, this ventilation system took me like two hours, which is really sad because it doesn't really seem like it'd be that hard. But the, uh, this space station is pretty freaking big. And this is like one of the better ventilation systems here. The bathroom, you actually legitly will drop into a stall. Oh yeah, the stalls actually do work. So they're open, and then when it's occupied by someone, you just boop. They can still see you in here clearly, but they can't get in. And then you just jump back in the ventilation system here. And then this one over here leads to the escape room and then the next one should be the disco room yeah the rave room and this will drop you into where the DJ is supposed to be and that took me like 50 minutes too it's pretty sad cuz I didn't never ever use redstone that's I absolutely have to so I was like, I knew that you could make the lights flash, but I had no idea on how the hell I was supposed to do that. So I was sitting there trying to figure it out for like ever, watching videos. It took me freaking forever to get that to work. Then this leads you to the science room. Drops you in right over here. See the lava is still there? It takes so long for that lava to go away. This next room is, this is where the kitchen is. 
up here. This will drop you on top of the refrigerator. Like so. And there's a nice little kitchen area. Kitchen slash cafeteria, I would say. This drops you into the bedroom, which just drops you into like the middle of the room. And then we have the diving board room. Well, which, yeah, the diving board. I'll see the diving board room last because you can get outside with the diving board right there. This drops you back into the main area, which we can, I guess we get back to the same thing there. Or is this a diving board room? Nope. This is a tree oxygen room. Over here we have, I believe this is like the end, because we have archery, the archery room over here, then this goes over here to the storage room, and then this is the pool, water slide, basketball, rape area over here, which I don't have a passaging the, the rape room, just the basic pool area. And then we'll go to the diving board room. And then I'll show you how it looks on the outside, which is not even anywhere near being finished. But I know a lot of people wanted to see this video, so I decided just to show from what I have so far. This is the diving board, which as you can see, you can still dive. But now there's just stuff everywhere. So this is what I had right, just right this, right here. That's what I had. I don't know when the last video was, like four days ago. And then I added all of that to get people's names on and all the rooms. For the past two, two or is it three days? Past three days, I put 18 hours into just making this part of the space station. Really trying to pump this thing out just to get it finished and I still have at least 12 hours of work still ahead of me to cover this whole outside with stuff. And as you can see, most of you probably knew this, how you can get this stuff to flash, but it, I was so confused on how to get it to flash. It was just, I could not figure it out. And then if you're wondering why there's just random lines, there's nothing, it's because I originally had more of the lamps, but it was too bright inside, so I had to cut down on half of them. So it wasn't so bright. And over here, this is where you have the shower. Look at this mess of redstone here. And then this is where the bath is. Over here, where else is where that's a mess of redstone? Oh, here we go. This is just a mess of redstone. <laughs> to get the things to work with the experiment thing. Here's a... Uh, the redstone for opening that door. Then you have the redstone, obviously, to open all the escape pods there. I don't think I have any redstone over here. Oh, then the redstone. The redstone for the escape room is not even a mess. That's like... That's fine how that is. That's really not that bad compared to everything else. Then you have the nature room. With the sun sticking out really weird. Oh, that's because I was doing something else. Oops. Cover that back up. And then here is the game room. Eventually, well, my plan is now with the space station. Is I really don't... I might drop down from the main room. I might drop it down to the... Where is it? From the main room, I might have it go under ground. Here we go. From the main room, because I'm someone told me to add a control room and I never did, so I'm probably gonna just um actually yeah from probably where's the earth yeah here we go so I'll probably just have a drop straight have like a staircase that leads that spirals down here so about like right here not a little bit higher maybe like right here and we'll have like a glass floor with like all the controls and stuff so the control room still I'll add and then I'm gonna cover this up now I don't know what would look it just looks like a mess right now it just looks like a disaster just went through here 
I don't know if it'd be better to put it into like so many rooms into like a certain like a block, like a big ass block. From like here, have the block, and then have the block go all the way to the water slide, and then cover just in blocks, then have it look like it, just make it look like a space station, or just do it like I've been doing and just cover it with the stuff like this and just work around it and then add lights that flash on the space station outside with like satellite things and solar panels and all this other crazy stuff so I don't know how I'm gonna really go about doing that I don't really know what would be the best way to go about doing it but I'll figure it out. That's the space station as of right now, which I am very proud. This is the most I've ever done in Minecraft in my life. I've never <laughs> built anything like this ever. So that's the space station. Once I get the outside touched up a little bit more and add the control room and stuff, I'll make another video. But that's it for right now, so peace.